Hi there YouTube, this is Joel from Jonesy's and uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about how I build custom intercooler pipes and uh, from this diagram you can see I've got a mandrel bent U-bend and a 90 as well as a little tailpiece that was actually cut off of the existing intercooler pipe on our conversion vehicle. So this pipe is being built for the uh, passenger side of a uh, Ford Cummins swap, a Fummins, a 2000 Fummins, and uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the easy way to construct these uh, that is very DIY friendly. Uh, a lot of people see um, the TV shows and the forums and all kinds of TIG welding and, and butt joints and aluminum, and, and at the end of the day, uh, that is uh, uh, great and it's awesome craftsmanship, but for a DIY guy, it's uh, probably just not feasible. So. Uh, my method is to always use mandrel bends, as you can see here. Um, right now I've got a U-bend and I've got a 90. And then you orient the slip joints, meaning you expand one piece of pipe so that it slips over the other. And as long as you orient those slip joints in a fashion that is conducive with the airflow, you won't have any issues at all. So as you can see in this photo, the uh, red line represents the airflow and you can see that uh, the uh, upstream pipe, meaning the 90 degree pipe or the straight pipe, slips over the downstream pipe. And uh, that makes it so that uh, the air is uh, going across and over the joint instead of uh, dead ending right into the joint. And then if you uh, just weld up all the way around that uh, lap joint with a standard MIG welder, uh, you won't have any issues whatsoever. So uh, hopefully you enjoy the video and let me know if you have any questions. Well, here we've got our charge air pipe work uh, mocked up. We've got our DIY high flow flange kit. And our plan here is we're gonna tack that in place there and then tack our slip joint right there to make this whole intercooler pipe come together. So we're gonna index that, that 90 off of our flange and get that tacked into place so that we can have everything stable and then make sure that we have the right amount of space between the end of this pipe and the end of this pipe for our joint here. And then we'll work our way down. We got a couple tacks on our 90 and also on the slip joint. All the boots are indexed the way they should. There's a little bit of gap between the two pipes. So we can put a clamp here and a clamp there. And then this will move independently of our, of our 90. So now we're gonna take these components out and uh, jig them up in the turntable and put a nice uh, clean robot looking weld around each joint. So to weld out uh, this slip joint here, I've just got it suspended, kind of centered on the uh, turntable. Kick that guy on. And you can see it'll rotate around. And that way, that weld can be a continuous, continuous weld that'll be a totally leak-proof seal and it will look really good. So let me get it all fixtured up and away we go. So now for the air intake flange. Um, I mount it up on the uh, turntable and use the MIG welder to weld our DIY uh, flange kit to that uh, mandrel bent 90. The uh, MIG welding is primarily just for um, rigidity on the pipe. After that, I uh, grind the uh, any uh, remaining three-inch pipe uh, that's sticking out, being careful not to get into the uh, sealing surface of that flange. You want to be really careful that you don't uh, put any grind marks in that sealing surface. Once that uh, is all even and you have a nice tight joint, I mount it back on the uh, turntable and um, do a final seal and a little uh, itty bitty uh, weld along the seam 
Um, and once that's all completed, um, I file it uh, completely flat to make sure that there's no uh, warping and it has a good sealing surface. The driver's side on our Fummins uh, intercooler piping was the easy side. The uh, passenger uh, starts to get a little bit of, uh, complicated. You can see the turbo down there and the original power stroke intercooler inlet right here. So what we did was we took the original Ford end so that we can reuse the boot because it has that strange inverted uh, bead on those boots. And then we have a mandrel 90 degree that goes out through our fender well. And then in our fender well, it will wrap around like this with a mandrel U and go straight into our turbo. It's uh, really tight around the shock, but there's tons of room in here. So once we get everything tacked together, we'll tack this slip joint and we'll tack that other one. And we'll pull the whole assembly out and uh, put it on the turntable and weld it out. So we're about ready to uh, roll our bead on the end of our passenger side uh, intercooler pipe. And here you can see the original Ford has this strange inverted bead. Um, and then our aftermarket boot that goes off of our turbo has a traditional bead. So we're gonna go ahead and roll this bead on here so that it uh, has a nice uh, lip for the clamp to seat against. 